Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Annalisa, and we're making some fun portraits using the new Ellen Chrome ELB 1200 system. So this is Ellen Chrome's new battery powered system, 1200 watt seconds. Um, we've got a couple of heads plugged into it, and we're kind of putting it through its paces. So this pack has all kinds of cool new features and stuff, and it's gonna be great for people that do portraits on location and fashion. So we're kind of shooting a fashion slash portrait feel shot here with uh, using a Rotolux and a grid. So this ELB system is going to have a few different heads available with it. You've got a high speed uh, head and a standard head here. Um, and this uh, Rotolux, like many of the Ellen Chrome things, comes with this little deflector, which I love. Basically, I'm able to put it here in front of the light to kind of kill any hot spot I might have when I want to not use the diffusion in front. This gives me a much more specular light, which is great for this kind of uh, fashion look where it's just going to hit the skin and really glow. So since these ELB heads use all the standard Ellen Chrome accessories, I've got the standard Ellen Chrome reflector with grid here. Uh, I've got a 20 degree grid that's giving her that nice kind of separation light in the background, kicker light. And you may notice that of course I'm in front of a white background in a pretty bright studio, but that's the power of flash. I've got this pack up maybe halfway and I'm completely killing all the light in the space, which is giving me kind of a darkish gray background, just kind of lit by the fill from the Rotolux um, and really giving me control of my situation. So I want to quickly go through the pack while Annalise is changing. Um, it's a completely new redesign here and it's all digital with the screen on here and it's pretty easy to operate. Um, essentially, I've got one head plugged in right now. You've got two different sides, A and B. I just fire the pack up like that. It takes a second to boot, it says Ellen Chrome. This is my power. Now, like all Ellen Chrome lights, 5.4 on this unit that's 1200 watt seconds is the same as 5.4 on a unit that's 3000 watt seconds or 400 watt seconds if it has that 5.4. That number is consistent across their line. It means 5.4 uh, is always the same, which is really useful. And I think Ellen Chrome is the only one that really do that. Um, but it's flashing because that means either it's charging or it's, something's wrong. And I know what's wrong right now. You have to activate the heads. You got to turn the heads on before you can use them. So I'm going to turn on this head over in A, and then we stop flashing. So now I can control my power up and down in tenths here, or I can jump in full stops here, right? Pretty simple. Now, right here, you can see it's giving me my uh, flash duration, right? And you can also do it in flash duration and watt seconds in action mode here. Uh, you got your modeling light, uh, you know, you've got your optical slave. You've also got uh, this menu system here, which is probably the, the core of this thing. So when I press this, I've got a bunch of options here. In here, you've got your, your modes for your sky port, normal versus speed. And of course you can set your channels. Move down here, uh, the flash mode. I've got the recycle time. I had it on fast because we were shooting really fast. Uh, you can have it on slower. You'll get a better battery life if you do that. Um, you've also got flash before ready. This one, uh, it means that if, if, if you're shooting something where you can't miss it, let's say you're shooting children, um, and you don't want uh, to miss that shot, you can set it for flash before ready, which means that even if it's not fully recharged, it will still attempt to shoot, assuming it has some power. Um, so you'll get something. Uh, because it's important for me for this situation shooting fashion, I turn that off because I'd rather not get it at all if it's not perfect for what I was doing today. In our modes here, you've got your sequence mode, you've got your delay for like rear curtain sync type stuff, and you've also got stroboscopic, and of course normal. Down here, photo cell, this is basically the, the uh, photo cell slave. And then my extras, I've got, uh, you know, your, your modeling light uh, and your radio on and off. You've got your, uh, your different sounds and the volume of them. And then down here, we've got our info. This is going to tell us the usage of the pack, serial number, firmware, and how many flashes, etc. 
which is kind of cool. Um, so especially if you're buying a used one later on, right? You can see how many times, or if that's going for service, like how much the, the unit's been used um, in the life of it. The other thing that you want to do after you come out of the menu, the other thing here is you got your A, B. So you've got two sides of this, A and B. Um, you can either be A and B uh, symmetrical, so basically splits the power 50-50 each, or you can go two thirds uh, to one, one third to the other in an asymmetrical mode. So this pack is definitely made to be taken on location. It's definitely like weather resistant. Uh, these little covers here are rubber to keep any dust and stuff out of your upgrade uh, ports and also your ports for your heads. Now for the heads, you can see right on it, there's like a lock unlock thing. You just line this guy up, drop it in there, turn it. Now it's locked and when it's locked, you know, it's not going anywhere. So you probably shouldn't do this, but you can if you needed to. And also just for a quick reference, when you turn the light on, the pack on rather, you know, it's flashing because it's not ready. When you turn, when you activate the head, you can see that that head's lit up. So even from a distance, I can tell that head's activated, so I know if there's a problem or not. And of course, it goes off if I do that. So in addition to the pack, the ELB 1200 pack, you've got two different batteries. You've got the air battery, which is the one we're using today. It's a lower capacity, very lightweight. You can take it on airplanes. There's also an HD battery that'll give you a lot more flashes, but it's heavier and uh, you're not gonna wanna take it on an airplane. And you can actually charge st USB stuff on here if you want. So you want to run your phone off it or in an emergency or whatever, you could actually use this battery for that. There's also three different heads you could get. You've got your standard head for just general use. You've got your action head, which is going to give you the shorter flash durations. Then you've got a high-speed sync head. High-speed sync head is going to allow high-speed sync with certain cameras um, using the, the uh, Skyport system. So here's my controller here. I can fire the flash, but I can also uh, turn the power up and down remotely with this. Also, some Sekonic meters will have the ability to have Skyport in them. So from your meter, you'll be able to actually turn the pack up and down, which is pretty cool. So for our second shot, we decided to do more of a casual outfit. We decided to go with kind of like a bright, airy image. So I used the Rotolux again. This time, though, I put the diffusion on the front. And we took the second head and just bounced it off the ceiling in the white studio. That gave us not necessarily a stark white background, but kind of a whitish background. Um, we have her nice and lit. She can move around. She can uh, get a lot of action. Really kind of fun, catalogy, smiley. Um, but one thing you can definitely do with this pack is it's got a really short flash duration, especially when you're using this action head. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually taking the pack with the single head now, and I'm gonna dial it in, and I can, it actually shows me the flash duration. I'm gonna dial into the shortest flash duration uh, that I can get, and then I'm just gonna use my light meter to set my camera correctly for the f-stops. So that's how I'm gonna choose my settings here um, so that we can stop our hair flying. It's gonna be uh, over 5,000th of a second, and we're going to get some hair flying through the air and stuff, so it should be really fun. Cool. Okay, so I'm set at um, f14 at 1 125th of a second, and uh, again, the flash duration is what's gonna stop my model's hair and stuff from moving. And the, what you wanna do when you're doing this is make sure that none of the light from the room is affecting your shot. So I did shoot a shot before this um, without the flash, and I got a black image. That black image means none of this light you see in here is affecting my shot. So even though I'm only at 1 120th of a second, I'm basically uh, shooting at a 5,000th of a second, uh, 5,620 or something like that, because of the flash duration. So let's see how this does. So that was super fun. Thanks, Annalisa. Yeah, thank you, Ellen Chrome, for loaning me the ELB 1200. It was really, really great. I love the super short flash duration, and that was, it's always fun to get goofy at the end of the day and throw hair around and see what we get. So those should be fun to look at. Um, but it performed great all day long, and I look forward to using it a lot more. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time.